Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, this Johnny Gonzalez, Jorge Arce fight, fascinates me. Right? Because, quite frankly, these guys couldn't be more different. Right? Johnny Gonzalez is precise. When you see him, he is your prototypical boxer puncher. Right? He's not winging shots. He's surgical. When you look at his fight against Abner Maris, you're going to see that he's trying to set up the shot that takes out Abner Maris. Right? Gonzalez is a guy who, quite frankly, can box you, but he's really a heavy handed puncher. Right? He doesn't have a great chin. In terms of precision, there's no comparison between himself and Jorge Arce. But Arce, who I consider to be a shot fighter, right? Arce is still dangerous because Arce ducks his head and he's unorthodox. He's looping punches, right? When you have an orthodox fighter who's accustomed to certain angles and you put him in the ring with an unorthodox fighter who knows how to duck his head and throw punches from unorthodox angles then you're playing with fire I think this is a dangerous fight for Johnny Gonzalez in the early rounds very dangerous more dangerous than the Abner Maris fight because with Maris you knew what to expect with Jorge Arce I'm not sure if a sparring partner can really duplicate what Arce is gonna bring in the ring so rather than take a side in this fight and I expect Johnny Gonzalez to have the upper hand but rather than bet on that the bet that intrigues me is the under nine and a half rounds, right? This is that unique fight where I'm actually going to take an over under, right? The under nine and a half rounds is being offered right now by bet 365. You need to check the laws of your jurisdiction to find out whether or not it's legal for you to place a bet at that website the payoff is 50 percent right well let me just say something's got to give here if Jorge Arce starts winging wide shots and doesn't land on Johnny Gonzalez he's going to be taken out Gonzalez simply hits too hard to let a 35-year-old opponent whose only chance is a puncher's chance off his front foot beat him. Right? Of course, if Gonzalez can't figure out the angles, if the hitch and unorthodox delivery of Arce's punches confuse him, then Gonzalez is going to be taken out. Look at their histories, folks. Both of these guys have been taken out a few times. Right? Let me just say, Arce, right, for a nine and a half, which would be the midway point of the tenth round, right? Nine full rounds and a minute and thirty into the tenth. That's what a nine and a half is. Understand that Arce hasn't made it into the tenth round in his last four fights right for him it's get knocked out or do the knocking out right understand that those four fights cover a two-year period so it's been two years since Jorge Arce has been in a fight that would have gone nine and a half rounds 
And here he is up against a murderous puncher. Understand, both of these guys can punch. Both of these guys have more than 40 knockouts. Right, so I'm expecting punches to land. I'm expecting an accelerated fight. I think this fight's different than the Clive Atwell fight that Johnny Gonzalez had. Right, I'm expecting an accelerated fight. I also believe that when fighters get older, right, Gonzalez is 33, Arce is 35, Arce especially has a lot of wear on his tires. Right? Understand, both of these guys have been fighting for years. I'll tell you what, older fighters know when to say when. Young guys will, you know, have some psychic need to go the distance. With older fighters, if it's not your night, if you're getting hit upside the head and you understand that the other guy still has a full tank of gas and you can barely stand up, you can barely keep yourself on the road. An older fighter is going to throw in the towel. Or stay down for that extra two seconds to make sure the referee waves off the match. The bet I like here is the under nine and a half rounds. Right? I'm just nervous about whether Johnny Gonzalez... freezes for a moment and gets hit with some looping unorthodox shot. Right? I'm also nervous about the idea of Jorge Arce dealing with Gonzalez's lethal counters. Folks, Gonzalez has one of the best left hooks in boxing. Gonzalez also can throw a straight right hand from halfway across the ring, right? He's a huge puncher, right? So, because both guys make me nervous, I like the under nine and a half rounds. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.